Hey there, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Tech AI Hub. Ever wondered what your cat or dog would tell you if they could talk? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into the fascinating world of how scientists are using AI to communicate with animals. Yep, you heard it right, animals. But before we jump into the juicy details, let me throw a big question your way. How cool would it be to chat with your furry friends? I mean, imagine decoding the secret language of your pets or having a heart-to-heart -heart with a dolphin. Sounds wild, right? That's where AI steps in. Now, there are two main ways AI is making this dream a reality. First up, we've got AI analyzing animal sounds and behaviors. Think of it as a universal translator for the animal kingdom. Take Coco, the gorilla who rocked sign language. What if we could skip the sign language lessons and have a device that translates their sounds and behaviors into human language? Enter Khan Slobachikov, decoding prairie dog language with his AI system, the prairie dog translator. The guy's a legend. And then we've got Denise Hertzing, unraveling the complex language of dolphins with her AI system, called CHAT. These researchers are on a mission to bridge the gap between species, and it's mind-blowing. The first obstacle is understanding what animal communication looks like. From wagging tails to purring, each species has its own way of expressing itself. But with over 8.7 million species on Earth, understanding them all is a colossal task. But hold on, there's another way AI is shaking up the animal chat game, by generating animal sounds and behaviors. Picture this, AI creating synthetic noises and gestures that animals can understand. Ever seen those videos of people mimicking bird calls and getting real animals to respond? Now, imagine taking that to a whole new level. Artificial intelligence, AI, can help scientists understand and communicate with animals. Analyze sounds. AI can quickly sort, tag, and analyze animal sounds. It can also determine which aspects of the sounds might have meaning. Detect patterns. AI can use natural language processing algorithms to detect patterns in recordings. These algorithms are similar to those used by Google Translate. Predict signals. AI can predict what communication signal will come next based on an animal's behavior. Build shapes. AI can build shapes that represent an animal's language. It can then match patterns between a known language and a new one to translate concepts. Some examples of AI helping scientists communicate with animals include flowers. Scientists have learned that flowers can hear an oncoming bee, which leads them to make sweeter nectar. Bats and bees. Researchers can use AI to detect patterns in recordings and decode what animals might be saying to each other. But it's not just about decoding. AI is also being used to generate animal sounds and behaviors. David Hansen, creator of Sophia, the human-like robot, has developed an AI system called Animatronic, allowing Sophia to communicate with animals. And Oren Kolodny from Stanford is creating virtual agents with AI-generated animal behaviors, diving into the origins of animal communication. But here's the kicker. AI isn't just about having a casual chat with our animal buddies. It's about understanding them on a whole new level. Scientists are using bioacoustics and AI to decipher animal languages, whether it's the chit-chat of bats or the clicks of dolphins. It's like Google Translate, but for the animal symphony. Now imagine this. Within the next decade, humans might crack the code on the first non-human language. The possibilities are endless. Talking to birds, pigs, dolphins, you name it. It's not just about chatting, it's about unlocking the mysteries of animal society and the environment. The potential impact is enormous. Improved human-to-animal communication could revolutionize how we treat animals in sports, entertainment, research, and even our food supply. But with great possibilities come significant ethical and philosophical questions. Ethical questions pop up. How do we respect animal autonomy? How do we ensure our communication isn't harmful? It's a brave new world of interspecies communication, and it's both thrilling and challenging. So, what do you think? If you could talk to animals, which one would you choose, and what would you say? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you're as intrigued as I am, hit subscribe for more mind-blowing content. This is AI Danny signing off, because who knows, the next time you chat with your pet, AI might just be the translator.